What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. That's right, you seen the thumbnail, you read that title, so you know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to show you guys how to make a better than Wingstop lemon pepper recipe. And listen, this was all brought on because of all wings, everything. You know, he said, you gotta go by and check his channel out. I'll put his information on the screen right here so you guys can check him out. But listen, watch, you gotta look at the beginning of it because he gonna tell you who, how he self-proclaimed and who he is, he the prince of the lemon pepper weed. So when I heard that, I just had to get down and put something else out there. Now in this video, you're gonna see like some other eye cards or whatever. I made these before, but this right here, I'm gonna tell you why they better than Wingstop. It's, it's gonna all come down to the lemon pepper, right? Whatever lemon pepper seasoning you guys are using, whatever you want you used to, that's the one that you used to, you know, that you like for your own palate, and that's why it's gonna be better. So with that being said, let's just get over these ingredients so we can go ahead and make these wings. Okay, so check this out. Not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So I'm gonna start right here by just showing you, look, we're just gonna start off with one cup of flour, right? This is all purpose flour. Here I got 12 tablespoons of uh, butter. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down. And right here, we got one teaspoon of kosher salt and black pepper. Here I went in and took some fresh uh, parsley. I just went ahead and chopped it up and just to get it to dry out. Cause you know, when you buy it, it's kind of like wet, you know, from the produce department, right? We're gonna use this for garnish. And then right here, Look, this is lemon pepper seasoning. I made this lemon pepper seasoning. You know what, this is like super easy to make. This is the most important thing I gotta tell you guys. This right here is salt free. That way we can put our own, you know, salt in there for those of us that are watching our salt intake. That's what makes it like, just like super cool. Now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. You know, if you guys are interested in learning how to make your own seasonings, you know what, I'm down to teach that. Listen, it's fun. And listen, it ain't nothing like putting something out that you done made yourself. When you tell somebody you done got it out from scratch, you say all the way down to the seasonings. Now, check this out. Right here, I got three lemons. Lemons is up to you. You're gonna need just really one lemon. I'm gonna say two. You're gonna need one to cut yourself some wedges, and then you're gonna need one so you can go ahead and do like this, because we are gonna get some zest from that. These are lemon pepper wings, folks. We finna make it pop. Now, this right here, I got about four and a half pounds of uh, chicken, you know, these are my chicken flats and the drumettes, you know what I mean? These are my chicken wings, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need yourself a big bowl, because we're gonna take this bowl, we're gonna do a lot of flipping and tossing. We're gonna have this bowl right here for mixing, you know what I mean? And then this is gonna be key. A lot of you guys asked me, like in the comment section, you guys asked me about this mat right here. You gotta get yourself one of these mats. Make the cleanup really, really easy. You know what I mean? It cuts down on your uh, buying all that foil. And you're gonna need a cooling rack. This is like a set. I'll put this somewhere, you know, so you guys can take a look at it. Cause listen, after we deep fry these, oh, me saying that, check this out. I'm gonna be using my deep fryer today. I mix it up, you guys, you know what I mean? Cause everybody don't have a deep fryer, but if you do get one, I suggest save the money and get this. This is like the best one, self cleaning of the oil, the whole shebang. But today we are gonna use these, then we are gonna go into the oven. Check this out. And while we are talking about the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this oven right now to 350 degrees. So I hit bake and hit start and that's coming up. Super easy, cause listen, it's about the presentation and we gotta show the prince, so he say, of the wings, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do mine, put mine together, and then we gonna look at these. You guys gonna make it, then y'all gonna go by and check out his channel. Hey, so with that being said, let's get started. When I tell you these are easy to make, you gotta figure, look, if Wingstop is making them, that's what's making them simple, right? When the restaurants get them. So we gonna start off by just adding our flour and then our salt and pepper, right? We just add that, get yourself a fork or a whisk, and I'm just gonna move this around like this. You just want to get this blended. You know, uh, if you guys would like, you can add some of your lemon pepper seasoning here. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you just want them, I'm a, you know what? I'm kind of like conflicted when it comes to that. You know what I mean? Uh, you don't want them to be over the top. You just want these to be delicious. It's going to really be in that butter and your lemon pepper sauce there. So this is what it should look like. You should be able to see the flakes in there from that, uh, from your, you know, from your black pepper. You know, you hit it with that salt. Now, I'm gonna show you the next thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take one of the flats. I'm gonna drop the flat in here, and I'm gonna roll it around, to make sure it's coated. And then when it's coated, I'm gonna shake off. Look, this is key. You don't wanna have a whole lot of, listen, you don't want nothing excessive on the, no excessive uh, excess of flour on your wings. So we just do them just like this, and we just put them right here. Now, I'm gonna do another one. Take a drum at, take a couple. Couple of these, 
a couple of flats. And I just want you to see, this is real important. So once I got it coated, right? I bang it across this, on the side like this to shake off any excess. And then I just put it right here on my, you know, my cooling rack. And then we just repeat that process till we get them all done. Now I told you guys I'm gonna be doing my, uh, be using my deep fryer, right? So make sure you got it all off. Let me put it there. Now I'm getting ready to dump as many as I can inside of this, you know, to speed it up. I'm not gonna take, you guys don't have to watch that, but you got the gist of it. Remember, shake off all of it. Put it there and then you repeat. And then right here, you can see, there's just not a whole lot of, of excessive all-purpose flour. All right, so got this one lined up, right? So you can see all of them, they coated. I shook off all the excess flour, you know, in that seasoning. Now, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna look at this right here. I told you I'm gonna be using my deep fryer, right? So let me just go ahead and get this ready now. My temp is already up. We're using 350 degrees. Now you guys can use whatever you want to as far as, you know, a pair of tongs or whatever. For myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and line them like this. Now, here's where the trick is. A lot of people gonna ask me like, how do you know when they done? Give me a time and all of that. All I know is, and listen, you it won't be, you won't have no issues because we gonna put these actually inside of the uh, oven once these come out. So it's gonna take about five to seven minutes. But we looking for color. We looking for a nice golden brown in color. Now I can load this up and drop them in there, but for the, I want to show you guys just how it is. So now I'm gonna go ahead, put it in. Right, got them in. I'm gonna put this lid on. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for that golden brown color. So I'm gonna set myself a timer for five minutes. Five to seven minutes, I'm gonna achieve that color and then we're gonna take them out and then we're gonna repeat that process. After five minutes, I looked at it. I wanted to go a little bit further. I just went to seven minutes at that 350. Look, look at that color right there. That's what you're looking for. Now you just want to go ahead and take these out and you want to go ahead and just store them, you know, on your rack. They'll drip and do all of that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue this process. As soon as I finish, you know, getting this whole rack complete, we're gonna stick them in the oven, we're gonna make our sauce, and we finna have some magic. Okay, you can see, check that out right there. All of them nice and golden brown, right? So now we're getting ready to put them in the oven, we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, then we're gonna take them out. Meanwhile, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and make our, you know, our sauce. All right, now we got everything melted, everything is nice and hot, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead, take a, you know, just a half of my lemon. I'm gonna put my hand like this and I'm gonna use the, the slots in between my fingers, the spaces, that's to catch any, if I push out any seeds. So you just wanna put some of the juice in there with it. Oh yeah. When I tell you better than wing stop, that's what I mean, y'all. Hey, listen, we gonna go just the extra mile with it. Okay, got the lemon juice in there and the melted butter. Now, remember our seasoning? Now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of it in and just give it a stir. This right here is what's gonna do it, you guys. This right here, when I tell you, when you guys, you know, give it to your, your guests or you eat them for yourself or however you do it, you're gonna find out. You know what, I, only way I wanna know is down in the comment section below. You guys tell me. Now, that's a whole lot of butter, fresh lemon juice, you know, and lemon pepper seasoning, which we made ourselves, right? Don't forget, you guys, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. If you guys wanna learn how to start making your own seasonings, Now's the time, let me know. And uh, hey, we gonna go ahead. And again, remember this is salt free. And this butter I used was salted, so this is the right blend. All right, now look, this is what they look like when they come out. Hey, tell me right there, that should be that fire. I wanna eat one of these right now, but they are not complete. So now what you wanna do is get yourself a bowl, right? We are gonna get a bowl. And listen, they hot. They just come out of that oven. So we just gonna put a few of these in here. Cause look, we are getting ready to toss. And you want to toss them while they're hot. You know what I mean? That makes it that butter just, you know, flow across each one of them. Gets them real nice. Right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it like that. I'm just gonna pour a little bit over the top. Just like you see here. Right? Now, 
Now you can do them like how you see me doing them right here. You can do them like small batches or you can do a whole lot. It really depends on your skills when it comes to tossing them. So you see it like that? Now this is what's gonna send it over the edge. Now you just wanna get yourself one of these fine graters like this. Get your, you know, get your lemon. We're gonna put a little zest on here. We're gonna flip them again, but we're just gonna move it around. And this right here, you can smell it. So this is what's gonna tell everybody, hey, when they smell it just right off the back, they're gonna say, oh, somebody got some lemon pepper wings. Now I'm just gonna retoss them again, just so that they, you know, some of that zest can get on all of them. You can see that butter, look at that right there. This right here is that fire, folks. So now let's go ahead and put some on a plate and let's go ahead and eat some of these. Now, go ahead, take a look at those right there. You can see the seasoning, you can see the butter, and you know we just hit it with that zest and that lemon juice inside of our uh, our butter. That right there, if that's not lemon pepper wings 101, then I don't know what is. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below, and I just wanna say, enjoy. Hey, so check it out. You guys see it. I'm not saying I'm the wing king or nothing like this, but I can tell you this. This is super easy to make. It's better than wing stock. You can make them in your pad. Hey, but enough of that over talking. Hey, look, check it out. I'm gonna take this. And I'm not even gonna dip it. I was gonna dip it, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna grab this and we finna just taste it. Taste it. Just see where we at right now. <laughs> oh man. Check it out. If this was a mic, I'd drop it and walk off. But it's a wing, so I'm finna go ahead and eat this and then we're gonna talk about it. Hmm, I gotta go in for a second bite. Hmm. These are right. I really don't need no dipping sauce. Hey, you know this is gonna be quick. So let me just go ahead and talk by right now. Hey, don't forget you guys, go by and check out all wings, everything, right? Take a look at his channel, look for his lemon pepper wings. Hey, but you know what? You're gonna be in awe, cause you're gonna see that dude really should be saying he the appetizer king. Cause he got appetizers and he got every kind of wing that you can think of. This is what I'm bringing to the table. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know if you wanna see and learn how to make your own seasonings. And if you if we decide we are gonna do that, I'm gonna film it, we are gonna start with the lemon pepper. Listen, I'm not gonna over talk it no more. I just wanna say this, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and tell your friends and everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Hey. You know I'm about to say I'm about to wrap it up. I'm out of here, peace, all that, right? But I ain't gonna lie to you, the whole time I'm talking, I'm thinking about these wings right here. I'm finna get down, you guys, so I'm out of here. Peace.